Hi guys. Uh, yep, it is a face from the past. It has been almost a full year since I made my last video and a lot has happened in a year and I don't feel like going into it, but a lot of things have happened this year, which a lot of good things have happened, but uh, it has kept me away from making any kind of videos. So with Halloween coming up, I had a bunch of different things planned. This uh, look that I want to do today is not planned. It was kind of spur of the moment. So today's look um, is going to be something different. I'm going to use the technique that I used last year with the latex and um, last year I used cotton. Uh, this year I'm going to use latex with paper towels. You can pick up latex. I think I mentioned this in a previous video. I picked up this container of latex. It's like here um, about two years, three years ago, something like that. And I got it on sale when it was like 70% off. I think I paid $3 for it, but uh, it normally sells for like $16.99, but it's a great deal for 16 ounces. It'll last you quite a bit of time, but I will be using this. Um, and I'm going to be using a new technique that I've never done before. Um, it's a recipe for base, basically like pliable um, latex, I guess is what you want to say. And I made this piece out of uh, glycerin, um, unflavored gelatin, and water. And I basically did a one to one to one ratio. So one part water, one part glycerin, one part um, gelatin. And I did like three tablespoons. I made a whole batch of it. And you just heat it up and then uh, I store it. I'm gonna store it and then use it throughout the season um, for Halloween. But this is the prosthetic, little prosthetic piece. I guess that's what you would call it, a homemade prosthetic piece that I made today. You can actually make these and put them in forms and all kinds of stuff. So, um, but it's very, very pliable. It should be very paintable. Um, I'm going to be painting it with just basic Myron, um, Mayron, Mayron, uh, face like foundation paint, um, and concealer and we'll see how it works. And yeah, so let's get started. Hope you guys are doing well. Bye.
Well, here you are, guys. Um, here's the finished look. Kind of different, right? Really gruesome. Um, I have no clue what I was doing. I just uh, really, I think it's kind of just an undead, uh, not really zombie look, could be. Um, I didn't, I was going to blacken my teeth, but I really don't want to. Um, but if it, if I were to do that, I would probably just take a black eyeliner and just kind of smear it on the ends of my teeth and kind of get them all nasty and, you know, either black or brown or both. And, uh, but I didn't really want to do that. But, um, yeah, I really like how it turned out. It is really creepy. Um, you know, you could get as crazy as you wanted to with it. I basically was going for a whole slash uh, slashed up side of the face, um, you know, kind of rotted away type of thing. So anyway, it was a lot of fun. I hope you really liked it. If you have any questions on any products that I use, please feel free to ask. It was basically just, uh, my palettes from Coastal Scents, um, some Mayron, um, Trail Powder and Charred Ash Powder and Mayron face paints and foundation. And then I told you about the latex and the paper towels. You saw me build that. So like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And I hope you have a great day. Happy Halloween. Till the next, uh, next one. Bye-bye.